Hi guys, just come around here a second. Shake my hand, say hello to everybody hello. on here. What's, uh, your, what's your name? My name is Debar. And where does it uh, derive from? Because normally there's five names, no? Katut. Yeah. Oh, we, my we, name is Gade. Gade, yeah. and what, what day is that? Uh, day? Yeah, um, the first, sorry, the first, uh, the first child, yeah. you're the first yeah, child. The first oh, child. Okay guys, so in Bali here, um, each child that's born, the first child is Gade. And the second child? Second is Madi. Madi? Yeah, Third? or Kadek. Three is Katut. Katut? Yeah, first is Nyoman. Nyoman, okay, so is it four or five? Uh, yeah, oh, sorry. Four. Maybe you can... <laughs> No, no, it's cool. That's okay. That's fine. It's lovely yeah. to see you. What's the name of this villa? What's uh, the name? The name is Dararia Villa. Dare, say it again. Dararia Villa. Dararia. Yeah, Dararia. It sounds a little bit different in the way we say it, so it's better the way you say it. Yeah. Uh, it's a beautiful villa. We yeah. like it. There's a beautiful swimming pool mm. and the rent is very good price. Yeah and their rooms are beautiful, beautiful so yeah. thank, thank you, you so much. i'm making sure yeah. everybody knows this so yeah. we're in the heart of a bud maybe five minutes away from the center which is perfect yeah okay thank you brother thank you okay so have come a on nice day. have a nice day yeah. take care right guys i wanted to introduce you to this villa because it is a very beautiful villa i've been here now um five uh, six nights and it's less than most rooms anywhere else that you would go to for one night so it's brilliant it's clean it's the rooms are fantastic um, I'll put a link if I can to this place because they're all beautiful they bless this place every day there's one um, very beautiful young lad who just just got a beaming smile and he spends his time blessing this place all the time so it's a really nice place so great day today guys so it's, uh, it's lovely to see you all Ganesh do you love Ganesh as much as me we love Ganesh we do okay well this morning I did a video uh, regarding uh, a subject which is a little bit uh, controversial a lot of you are uh, sending me messages now I'm going to repeat myself one more time. I am not somebody who can talk in 10 minutes about a subject and tackle every single uh, aspect of what you are going through. It's impossible. So I have to more than anybody accept the fact that you're going to be angry with me because of certain circumstances that you're going through and that you throw at me because when you actually answer me and send me a message with anger, it is how you're feeling at any given moment. And by doing that, it says a lot about you as a person, because if you're getting angry over something, there's something very wrong there. And you're saying, yes, but what you said is wrong. No, you're saying that because you want what you're going through to feel as if everything's okay. So you want me to confirm to you, to give you a stroke and say, look, what you're doing is okay. And you know what? on a spiritual level, anything's okay. It doesn't matter what I say. It doesn't matter what you do. The only thing that matters is how you handle any given situation, what you're going through. So let's just split it into two simple ways. One, are you happy when you go through the situation? Two, are you sad when you go through the situation? Well, answer that question and be honest. One, if you're happy with that situation and you really truly mean that, then everything's okay. If you're sad and if something's upsetting you and you're getting angry over whatever it is, then there's something wrong. You're out of balance. Do you see what I mean? So when you attack me by saying you shouldn't have said that, you should have said this, you didn't say that, you didn't say that, and I'm like, oh my God, I mean, are you kidding? I'm trying to help certain people here who are going through challenging situations and maybe throughout the conversation that we have together that I share with you, you might pick up one thing from that and Im implement that and it might help you and often it does. If I talk a load of rubbish, then maybe I should just stop doing the videos completely if it's upsetting you that much. Maybe you should, maybe, oh God forbid, go somewhere else. Find somebody that fits into your box nicely so that whatever you do makes you feel happy all day long. If I can't ruffle a few of your feathers, 
then what's the point in this? Because then all I'm doing is preaching to the converted and that's not why I'm doing this. So for the people out there who get angry with me and send me um, sometimes some really personal, horrible things, I just want to suggest just switch off and go somewhere else. Please do it for your own benefit. If I'm causing you pain and suffering, go somewhere else. There's a million, million, million people out there who are doing videos every day. Why do you keep coming back to me and then attacking me all the time? Ask yourself, why are you wasting your energy? So that's just a little bit for certain people out there who can't help themselves in finding fault and getting angry with somebody else. If I did that all day long, I would certainly be looking at my mirror saying, what the hell is wrong with me? I spend my day in happiness and love. I see things that I want to see. I work towards being the better I can be. If I see things that upset me, I look at myself and think, why is that upsetting me? What can I do to make a difference? If I spend my day trying to find a way to prove to you that you are wrong and I'm going to shout and scream at you, then you can see what I'm doing already. My vibration is lowering, I'm getting angry and getting heavier and I'm getting more sick and ill and depression sits in. So I think at the end of the day, you are you deep within you, you know what's wrong and right. And deep within you, you make mistakes like I do. We knee jerk, we say things that we shouldn't say. We, we do things that we shouldn't do. Hey ho, I still love you. And if it helps today and you've listened to this and think, you know what, maybe, just maybe, the, this guy might be right in what he's saying. Even though I don't um, believe what he says, even though I don't agree with him, maybe I should just stop being a pain in the butt to everybody else and start just working on myself and just start maybe trying to put all that focus that I, I do on trying to prove everybody uh, wrong, maybe I should just start working on myself. And I think that's a really, really good way to begin your personal journey of life. So I stopped judging even though uh, this morning I had two or three messages of people saying some quite personal things and I think where is this coming from why are you doing this just because I put a subject out there which may be a bit controversial to your or maybe touching something that may be hurting you a little bit because of what you're going through and what you neglect or don't want to look at and want to push away you know why ask yourself the question why so a lot of the times I'll make these videos and not it doesn't really affect me but I think why become personal what is it you know why do you have to attack people there do you know what the most lovely thing is that I find when I meet people people who are able to have a conversation and disagree but agree to disagree and have respect for one another's opinions I disagree with many people but I respect what they say and I always look at that situation and think okay let me think of why they're saying that and then I think oh wow I get that that makes sense and I understand why it doesn't mean I have to agree with it it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that I have to obey or do what they say it's just an, an observation an understanding and their path and their journey so ultimately I think each one of us has to respect each other's journey because you don't know how I'm feeling you don't know what I'm going through you don't know whether I'm truthful or a liar you don't know I don't know what you're doing at any given moment we're on social media you know you could be anybody you could be a little you know I don't know you could be 16 you could be 90 years old I don't know you know nobody knows really so we're only trying to maybe I think social media should be a great platform to take and learn and grow from not to be bitter not to push not to force your stuff on people not to prove your point I think social media if you ask me how we should deal with that is let's pluck out the best bits that help us along our journey let's look at the beautiful quotes how we can help grow from that and uh, oh that's interesting that's interesting that's interesting no I don't particularly like that but I'm gonna move on to this and work on that yes let's grow and let's look for the positivity within the social media and not too much let's find the balance so today's a great day guys what should we talk about it's already 9 minutes 31 seconds so what we're we gonna talk about now should we talk about something lovely and light let's talk about a crystal before I go 
what is my favorite crystal to find my inner peace and calmness one of my favorite crystals on um, my website at the moment that I go into my drawers for when I want to find some peace and, and stillness is a very unusual crystal and a lot of con uh, uh, controversial discussions are uh, always uh, on about this that it isn't a real crystal well it is a real crystal it's just that it's been fired in a kiln to a certain degree and had a chemical put onto it but ultimately the crystal is still a crystal you can cover a crystal you can put copper on it you can put gold on it you can wrap it up in leather whatever the crystal is still a crystal so the crystal I'm talking about today is one of my favorite not only does it look beautiful it feels wonderful too and ultimately the crystal is a quartz it's a clear quartz however it's been um, it's it's been altered and it is now what's called an aura crystal and I just love them and aqua aura uh, all the auras are beautiful titanium aura is beautiful tangerine aura um, rainbow as it call um, sometimes and pink auras all the auras are beautiful but for some reason I have an extra special bond with aqua aura and a bit like what you're looking at here with the infinity pool it's that kind of color it's that vibrant beautiful color now with aqua auras you often find that there are many different types you get a very low quality like over here in ballet which I, I bought a piece and um, it flaked instantly and that's been painted I'm talking about the high quality ones which are fired in a kiln so they actually seep into the crystal and, and it, it turns out a beautiful color but if you take that away um, you realize that the, the crystal is a quartz crystal and normally from Brazil a very beautiful one I try to buy them from Brazil and what it does for me is I tend to hold it often or keep it in my pocket so whenever I feel a little bit frustrated I'll take it out of my pocket and I'll just sit and breathe and hold it there are times that I'll uh, hang it on my chest as a pendant but sometimes I like to hold it a little bit more. So if it's hanging off me, I'll take it in my hand and then rest my hand on my chest. It's a kind of a double whammy. So I'm receiving energy and I'm actually um, blasting my heart, clearing what's called the darkness or the fears or the worries or the pains and the suffering from day to day. I think a lot of it sits in the heart when you've been attacked or you're upset with certain things. And I think just to sit like this and make sure you get this hand and place it somewhere comfortable facing this way so you're receiving the energy through your head and through your hand and basically it's like a little mantra and I always say these words no one has the power over me and I keep repeating it no one has the power over me but I say it inside my mind's uh, heart I say it inside my wholeness and as I say it I start to understand the words because what you're actually saying is that nothing can hurt you unless you allow it to nobody can cause you pain and suffering there is nobody in this world who can overshadow your light there is nobody in this world who can steal your beautiful energy unless you allow them to so the first moment that you find yourself in a painful situation it's because you've allowed their power to overshadow yours so it's not their fault it's your fault it's my fault for allowing this to happen once we recognize that and we hold the crystal in our hand and we say you know what nobody has the power over me you release that energy you break that bond or that cord that this person has on you that you've allowed to come into your life and once that's happened it's released and it's done and then you can get on with your life and then you just sit there in in this beautiful breeze in ballet or in your room wherever you are and you create your space and you breathe through your nose and you blow out through your mouth and you release and you forgive forgiveness I forgive everything I forgive myself for being a silly idiot I forgive everybody else for being a silly idiot I forgive everything because we're all going through our tests and challenges and I keep repeating all these words letting it go don't be silly it's not worth it life is too beautiful life is too amazing why am I even wasting my energy on anything other than being happy and focusing on me and my happiness journey so there you go aqua aura is an amazing crystal and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this little bit of information love you all just so you know guys you don't need to say oh it's awful that people are saying these things listen I've been doing it for 14 years I've had the most horrific 
messages and attacks from people but that's part of your journey when you start to shine a light that's part of your journey when you step into the the, the forefront of media and start to share your truth there is always darkness that will try and suppress your light it happens they don't mean to do it it's just the darkness is very manipulating and it looks to the weakest and the fear fearful to be able to blame others for what they need to heal themselves so I get it it doesn't affect me in that way but when it starts to become personal that's when I think you know there's no need to becoming personal that's really out of order so then you know it's gone it's okay and you know what today's a beautiful day guys I'm filled with the most joy and happiness and for all the the hundreds of thousands if not now millions of people who watch this uh, YouTube channel I am thankful for you guys and I know how much you are thankful for some of the things that I've been through and are able to share with you that have helped you along your journey so it is only one percent that is the negative and you know what you may say I focus on that too much but you know what I'm trying to reach out to you guys and try to help you along your journey because you know what there is nothing personal you haven't hurt me you could never hurt me in whatever you say and do because you're my brother and sister and I care for you and I want you to be happy why do I want you to be happy I'll tell you why because if you are happy you will know how it feels like I feel and two if you're happy you won't hurt anybody else ever again and ultimately that's the most important thing because you won't hurt yourself so have a great day guys from my heart to yours love you all from a beautiful Ubud from the rice fields and from my heart to yours have a great day I mean that with all my heart Bye guys.